Yo, what's good, guys? So today's video for Trip Gaming, we're gonna be showing you guys uh, Jesse's amazing profile that he had for Energy Cat in the States. It is BA Gookie. It's insane. Uh, Invoker Turbo brings all the Gookie combos just from two BAs. It's insane. It's amazing. Uh, no lifting today. We have a day off. We just did crazy back day the other day. So check it out if you haven't already. If you haven't gone to the gym already, if you haven't made money already, go do it right now because it's way more important than Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, so also before we check, out, before I show you guys the profile, I'm more at locals right now. I'm gonna go play some cube which is the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh, man. And uh, lastly, check out my Amazon, buy your protein creatine in the description below, and check out my Patreon if you haven't already, I'll make any deck you want sick. Let's go check out the video. Yo, what's good guys? We got Jesse, the Jesse Cotton over here with one of the spiciest lists I have seen in so long. I thought I put out some spicy lists, but this one, we already know I'm more creative than you, Jesse. But after what, after what you showed me today, bro, I don't know, we might have to be tied. I'm okay, gonna have to be tied <laughs> because from what I see. Wait, who told you to play DDDs? Also, spoiler alert: this is the man that convinced me to play DDs. Of course. This guy is the reason why all of you are playing DDs right now. And after you see this, I'm pretty sure you might be playing some BA Gookie. That's a deck, Burning Abyss Gookie. Whoever thought it would work, but yo, Jesse, how did it work for you today, man? That's decent. Yeah, I built it as a fun deck. Uh, to be honest, I just got bored of my normal Goki deck, so I just went back to my roots, played some Burning Abyss with some Goki in it, had some fun. Um, if I'm being honest, it's a good deck, but it's not like the best deck. Uh, you can definitely beat any meta deck with this deck, and you can win your local tournaments with it, but I know I would not necessarily recommend you to play this in Nationals. What he actually means by that is if you're not playing Pendulums, this is the second best deck. BA Goki, Goki, let's go right into it, bro. All right. So, start off, it's obviously tour guide, graphs. So, right yeah. before that, right before that, just uh, just so they know, what's the theory behind the deck? Why be a go Goki? Um, so, if you've watched any of my previous deck profiles for Gokis, you know that uh, one evoker is generally the full combo for Gokis. Yeah. So, what makes rank threes better than Burning Abyss? <laughs> so, this is basically just invoker turbo. By playing a lot of BAs, I'm playing 20 junk fours. <laughs> Actually, uh, genius, man. It's it, Invoker yeah. plus Banish a monster your opponent controls. Yeah, and then you got, play, you got no? all the utility of yeah. all the BAs. Yeah. Uh, Scarf for Grind Games, Graf and Sierra Lubbock. Yeah. Uh, Calcap, Bouncing Back Rows, Far for Banished Monsters. Uh, Alex Negate Effect. It, it does help in a lot of scenarios. Um, lit, lit. One cool application I didn't yeah. think would come up was Rivalry. This deck beats Rivalry way better than normal's Goku do because these guys are fiends, so I can yeah. just make nightmares. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Those standard one ofs, and then I played for the two ofs, two Cal Cal, two Lubick, and two Alec. Um, I actually really like these guys. Alec, uh, anything is pretty good. It's like a pseudo Farfa, not as good as Farfa, but um, sometimes it's special to Farfa where you don't have access to it, so it's the next best thing. Cal Cal for back row helps you. Uh, Break your stuff before you break the board before you like do the invoker play and the Lubick. But once you've established your non BA monsters in the field, you need it to continue playing or do the game. And just to confirm, you don't need to play a Dante or anything, right? Just straight all these just for invoker, right? And to do the whole Gookie combo? You want a surprise? Yeah, there's no Dante in this deck. Uh, I love these BAs, they're my boys, but even though I play like. Uh, 15 something BAs? No, I there's no Dante in here. Alright, perfect, perfect. So it's straight oh. Invoker Turbo. Yeah. It's, it's that, it's uh, Break Sword in that. Because yeah. yeah. after those are gone, you can just summon two, make a Link Monster, like, yeah. so it's fine. Yeah. It's, um, it's beautiful, man, I gotta say. Three Farfas, obviously, and three Scarms. That should be pretty standard yeah. for BAs at this, this point. Uh, that's it for the, burning, the actual Burning of his Monsters. Uh, I did not play Bar Bar. Um, I don't go to time that much. I'm a fast player, so I, I wasn't concerned about that. And when this deck goes off, it doesn't need extra 900 damage, so I just didn't play it. I'd rather have cards that have real utility to them, although I can definitely understand you playing more. more. Uh, and then three Rhinos. I mean, it's not a BA, but it's like a BA. Yeah. Um, terrible card. And then the Gokis. So the only two ofs I played were two Octo and two Suprex. Uh, Suprex being the best one, uh, no doubt, obviously. Yeah. You need two for the full combo because you invoke into it and search one and a head bat and then you got your play. Yeah. Um, but also it's the best one to draw. Yeah. And then two Octo because it, it's the hand trap. Uh, also, like, I tested this deck with one. I just lost so many games to the one Octo. His old day was dead and I just couldn't play. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to build this deck around VA and not play too many Gokis intentionally. because I'm not I'm trying to not play Gokis. But... Um, yeah, I, 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 it just like, it sucked so much for the one Octo. Like, I played this at local, and, and uh, I did well, but 
Uh, the, the games I lost was they just do the one octo and had yeah. no plays. So, yeah. And then the only multiple Gokis, I was playing one of the other ones for the full combo. Uh, I know they're good. Don't get me wrong. But I'm trying to have fun here and play my BAs. Uh, once you get one of them, you get all of them. So it doesn't matter at that point. Um, and then uh, six hand traps should be pretty standard at this point. Uh, these are the best hand traps. And any more is not the good the Sky Striker decks, so yeah. it's fine keeping up out. And then Soul Charge, no Monster Born because I kept like breaking around the sick. Um, it's like bad if you draw like Hand Trap, Revival Spell, uh, one Goki, one BA, and like one other awkward card. Like that, that sucks a lot. So you need to, to play as many like combo pieces as possible. Monster Born like wasn't really super needed. There were a couple times where I'm like, oh, what card could I draw to get me out of this spot? And Monster Born could have been it. But I mean, that's not like a reason to play the card for you to sack your way out of a, a tournament. Um, and the, the biggest difference between this and normal Goki deck is if you get Ash on the Invoker, you can't just like reborn a warrior and make a soul day because you're using two BAs. You yeah. can't just reborn a BA, it just dies. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then the other one is spell, the Crisp Bell. I only played one. I played one really? as all day. I, uh, oh my god. I mean, I, the, 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 all the Crisp have no synergy with this deck because the BAs don't work at all with other monsters. Yeah. It's like autonomous action unit sucks. They're not warriors. You can't use Offer God here. I don't like Overnum Burial. I'm not playing Axe of Fools in this format, so they're just not good. And it's not like, it, you, you can play without us all day. It's not, honestly, not the biggest deal, because if you open up like, a lot of BAs, you can just play, with, play through your stuff. Um, I did lose like one or two games, because I just dropped a few games later, but I mean. So I think you should add a second, right? No, nah, it had bricks. Yeah. You know what, like, as much as I'll draw it and I'll hate it, there'll also be games where uh, I'll draw other close spell and I hate it too. Yeah. And of course, like, even if I put a second one and who says I don't draw both? I know it's a lot less likely, but yeah. it, it still happens. Yeah. Um, you call by the grave standard, yeah. and then two Goki rematch ship standard. I was playing one of these because again, a small Goki engine, but there were so many games where like I just really wanted the grind and the follow up, and the rematch, rematch helps a lot. So side deck, bro. Before we get into this, great job on the deck, man. Honestly, just looking at that makes me think. Wow, like, it's truly beautiful. It's not only one, I'm not the only person that's not a meta sheep out here. You are also not a meta sheep, which is why I respect you, bro. You look at a deck, you put your brain towards it, and you think, and actually have a brain for yourself. So I respect you for that. Putting out a deck that's actually sick, and then you thought of yourself. So I respect you for that, bro. Let's get on the side deck. All right, so three mind crush. I think this is the best trap card right now. Uh, doesn't lose the light stage. Going second, it's good too. If they like add double engage, just mind crush double engage, and it's, it's really good. Uh, knowledge of their hand is also just really good. Um, definitely the, best, the only like good trap I think in this format. Uh, I guess this card too is pretty good. Two shared rights, although it is worse going second and worse the trickster deck. Um, yeah, I, this like I decided in going second too. This no. Um, two hit grenades and two twin twisters for back or removal. Yeah. Uh, people keep telling me oh, this card is so good, but every time I've drawn it, it's been so bad. <laughs> I, I played against a, a trickster deck, and, and the reason I lost the match was I opened up like three of my one of Gokis. I went like normal, someone to score through, discard headbat, or discard hug, bear hug from headbat, and I got reincarnation. So I'm like, okay. And I got Ash, whatever he is called by the grave. And uh, I get three new cards off reincarnation, and I draw two of these, <laughs> and an Octa stretch. I'm like, nice, I'm just passing. Because he had four back row, used two of them, and then if I drew nade, like, it's just terrible at that point because I don't have any other plays. Yeah. And then we just, he just flipped scapegoat and I just lost. I mean, like, I just, what can I do? Uh, this is good. It is it is not that good versus the Trickstar deck. I've been saying this for a while. So that's what this is supposed to do. But this is better, way better versus other stuff. Uh, you chariots in the mirror, which I played zero of today. I played this for you, Steven, for Firewall. <laughs> kind of works, but, you know, the rest of my hand was pretty bad, so yeah. it didn't really matter. Yeah. Yo, if you cherry the Electrum there, bro, you gotta put respect on Pendulum's names, bro. Oh, no, I, I respect Pendulum. I think if this deck had extra deck spots for cherries, then yeah, I'd put that in over, like, a Helix. This deck does not have extra deck space. You're playing BA with Gokies. That's true. So, yeah. That's true. I guess it's one card I could cut, but I, I liked every card in the extra deck today. Uh, and three Ogres. Uh, yeah. This card is really good. It's good against Goki Mirror Match. It's good against Rayko's, and it's good against Pendulum. So yeah. I think it's like very solid hand trap. It's not the best hand trap in any of the, ma any of the matchups besides Pendulum. 
but it's strong versus like a lot of decks. So I yeah. think that's really good. Yeah. Even against Pure Sky Striker, I like this card despite like common belief because uh, I find the only way I'm really losing the game is when they resolve a big multi roll, and this stops that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, extra deck, Invoker. Uh, I tried playing two of this. I think it came up a couple times today that I needed two, but uh, th yesterday when I played this, it was like really bad playing two. Uh, break Sword is really good. You draw a lot of BAs. You just pop uh, back row first, then go off. This card's very good. It's also a warrior for his old and whatever, so synergy there. And then Link Ones, standard, Double Goblin. I think in this one, this should be pretty standard. I'm going to explain the standard nightmare ratios I've been playing for a while. Uh, still can't get myself to just my two Phoenix. I've never really, like, needed it. Like, yeah. I can I, I can see the appeal to it. There are a couple times I'm like, oh, second Phoenix would be cool. But I don't think I've ever lost a game because I play one Phoenix. One is Azolde, again, I'm not really yeah, focusing yeah. on the go, on the Azolde, like, turbo part. You can definitely play with that Azolde, like, enough times this deck because it, it does function, like, a little differently. Um, and half the time, because you're using the BAs for the Invoker, that gets hashed anyways. Uh, and again, one of spell, so, yeah, that's fine. Um, and normal Goki play too, please. And I'm, I'm very serious about that. This is just because it's this deck. Um, Underclock for bridge plays and OTKs. Uh, Ningursu, something I wanted to try for a while. I really like this card in uh, Goki's. Uh, I am playing Warlord, but as opposed to Warlord, I, I really like this card because you make it very similarly. Uh, choose Link Monsters. And then it's also it's non targeting removal. Uh, it acts as like. Another unicorn almost because you can uh, send the blade for this and it's good. Pop a card, um, and it comes up a lot. This is better than a Borload because you can use like an Octo to make a Link Rebo from the Grave or Field, and then you have Link Two to make this. Or even if, like you're in spots where you go like Cerberus Phoenix, pop, pop, and then you make Link Rebo. And uh, if, you're, if you've already used Unicorn, that's fine. Um, and some of the spots Borload, you just can't make that and do the Phoenix and Cerberus shit. Yeah. So this has been good. Yeah. Uh, I, I want me games today. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I am not like playing in my current Goki deck right now, but it's something I definitely want to try out in the future. Uh, and then Unicorn, that's pretty obvious, and then try to get for the combos. Uh, rank, rank fours, uh, Firewall Dragon, yeah. standard, and then Morlode, because I, ha I have the space in. Yeah. And when you're not using, when these run out, or these aren't good, your BAs need to do something, so turning them into Morlode is very good use for them. Um, so, yeah. Nice, bro. That's the deck. Yo, that was that was amazing, man. I really respect that profile. Any shout outs you want to give, bro? Of course. So shout outs to my uh, team, Titan Esports and Metamats. Check out my nice Dante holding a potato mat here. <laughs> go check out Metamats. You want a custom mat made? And uh, that's it. Thank you. Proper, bro. Guys, hope you guys liked that video. See you guys next time. And that was the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that was Jesse's uh, BA Gookie profile. It was insane. Uh, on the level of the Electrum Turbo builds I've been making, except with BAs, which is crazy. This is a real way to play BAs, BA Goki. Uh, that's a, uh, before you guys head out, make sure to check out my Amazon description below. Uh, I got your protein, your creatine, if you need, if you're gonna, because if you're gonna lift, you're gonna need these things to get shredded. It's our day, uh, day 10, I believe, or day nine of our transformation. Day 30 is gonna be insane. I can't wait to show you guys. And check out my Patreon if you want me to make any deck that you like sick. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.